How do you make gasoline if the world has ended? What do you do when every pump is dry and the last drop of fuel means the difference between escape and being trapped? This is not just about getting around. This is about power. This is about survival. And more importantly, why would you even need it? Your vehicle is not just a ride. It is your shelter, your transport, your weapon. It is your lifeline in a world where every mile matters. Without fuel, your powerful machine becomes just another piece of junk. It sits there, rusting, a silent monument to what once was. Imagine the scene. The concrete skeletons of cities stretch for miles. Wind whistles through shattered windows carrying dust and the scent of decay. Gas stations stand empty, their pumps frozen in time. They are either barren husks or guarded by desperate, watchful figures. Your tank is bone dry. The silence of your engine screams louder than any explosion. Your journey stops here. Or does it? In a world stripped bare, you must redefine what is possible. You must look at scraps and see salvation. You must turn junk into triumph. This is not a fairy tale, this is the new reality. Resourcefulness is the currency of survival. Every discarded item holds potential. Every forgotten skill could save your life. You need to adapt or you will be left behind. Before we dive deeper into the grim realities and radical solutions, make sure you are ready for this journey. Subscribe to Bunker with a View for more insights into navigating the impossible. We are building a community of survivors preparing for whatever comes next. Join us now. Also tell us in the comments where you are watching from. What are your immediate survival concerns? We want to hear your thoughts, your fears, your strategies. Your perspective helps us all. Share your wisdom with our growing bunker community. The need for fuel extends far beyond mere transportation. Think about generators. They power critical tools. They provide light in the endless darkness. They keep communication lines open, however fragile they might be. Electricity is not a luxury. It is a fundamental component of keeping a fragile society, even a small one, from collapsing entirely. What about heating? Cold is a silent killer in the apocalypse. Fuel can warm your shelter. It can cook your food. It offers a semblance of comfort against the biting wind and crushing despair. A warm meal can lift spirits. A heated space can prevent hypothermia. These are small victories, but vital ones. A running vehicle provides an escape route. It offers speed against pursuers. It creates distance from danger. It is a mobile fortress in a hostile land. You can outrun threats. You can flank enemies. You can get to safety when every second counts. Your mobility can be your best defense. Fuel also enables trade. Resources are scarce. Specialized skills are rarer still. You might have salvaged something valuable, but how do you get it to someone who needs it? How do you barter for food, medicine, or spare parts? Your ability to travel becomes your greatest asset. Trade routes emerge and those with transport become crucial. Without fuel, these possibilities vanish. Your world shrinks to the radius of your walking distance. Your resources dwindle. Your vulnerabilities multiply. The landscape becomes infinitely more dangerous. Every trip becomes an epic, perilous journey. Every need unmet grows larger. In this harsh new world, you cannot rely on what was. Every discarded item holds potential. Every forgotten skill could save your life. You need to adapt or you will be left behind. Before we dive deeper into the grim realities and radical solutions, make sure you are ready for this journey. Subscribe to Bunker with a View for more insights into navigating the impossible. We are building a community of survivors preparing for whatever comes next. Join us now. Also, tell us in the comments where you are watching from. What are your immediate survival concerns? We want to hear your thoughts, your fears, your strategies. Your perspective helps us all. Share your wisdom with our growing Bunker community. The need for fuel extends far beyond mere transportation. Think about generators. They power critical tools. They provide light in the endless darkness. They keep communication lines open, however fragile they might be. Electricity is not a luxury. It is a fundamental component of keeping a fragile society, even a small one, from collapsing entirely. What about heating? 
Cold is a silent killer in the apocalypse. Fuel can warm your shelter. It can cook your food. It offers a semblance of comfort against the biting wind and crushing despair. A warm meal can lift spirits. You must create what is needed. The old infrastructure is broken. The supply chains are severed. No one is coming to help you. You are on your own. Your ingenuity is your only true friend. Your hands are your tools of destiny. This radical solution we are hinting at sounds impossible. Making fuel from plastic? It seems like something out of science fiction, but necessity breeds innovation. Desperation fuels discovery. The very junk that clutters the ruins of civilization holds a secret. It holds power. It holds potential. Plastic is everywhere. It is the lasting legacy of our consumer-driven world. Mountains of it litter the landscape. From discarded water bottles to broken household items, it is a constant, almost indestructible presence. What if this blight could become a blessing? What if your trash could power your survival? This is not just about understanding a chemical process. This is about shifting your mindset. It is about looking at the world with new eyes. It is about seeing opportunities where others see only despair. It is about taking control of your own destiny, one scrap at a time. It is about self-reliance in its purest form. The idea might seem daunting, that the process might sound complex. But we will break it down. We will show you the basic principles. We will guide you through the steps. You will learn to harness simple science for profound survival. You will turn the seemingly worthless into the absolutely essential. So, as your vehicle sits silent and the shadows lengthen across the desolate land, the solution is not always found in the obvious places. Sometimes the answers are hidden in plain sight. They are buried under rubble. They are waiting in the refuse. They are in the very things you once considered trash. Prepare yourself. Because in the next chapter, we will turn this seemingly impossible idea into a very real, very gritty, and very effective survival skill. We will go from concept to creation. We will show you how to truly fuel the apocalypse, not just survive it. Get ready to transform your world. Your vehicle sits silent. The tank is bone dry. The world outside demands movement, but you are stuck. This is where ingenuity becomes your most potent weapon. You need fuel and the old ways are gone. It is time to make your own. You will turn the trash of the old world into the power of the new. This is not magic. This is science. It is dirty, it is dangerous, but it works. You will take discarded plastic, that ubiquitous symbol of pre-apocalyptic excess, and transform it. You will extract its hidden energy, turning what was once waste into a vital resource. This process is called pyrolysis, a fancy word for cooking plastic without oxygen. You will need a few key items. Gather your materials carefully. You'll need plastic, a metal barrel, a lid for the barrel, a copper or metal tube, water, a clean container, and a source of fire. Each piece is crucial. Each item plays a specific role in this gritty alchemy. Do not skip any components. Safety comes first. This process involves high heat and flammable liquids. Work in a well-ventilated area. Keep a distance. Have a fire extinguisher or sand ready. You are playing with fire and potential explosions. Respect the danger. Your life depends on it. Prepare your plastic. Collect a substantial amount of plastic waste. This can be bottles, containers, bags, almost any type of plastic will do. Chop it into small pieces. Smaller pieces heat more evenly. This helps the process along. Put the chopped plastic into your metal barrel. Fill it up, but not completely. Leave some space for gas to form. Consider the types of plastic you are using. Polyethylene and polypropylene are common and generally yield good results. Avoid PVC plastics as they release corrosive and toxic fumes when heated. A good visual guide is the recycling symbol. Numbers one, two, four, and five are usually safe bets. Sort your scavenged plastic to maximize your yield and minimize risk. You want consistent material for a consistent burn. Once your plastic is chopped, pack it into the barrel. Do not compact it too tightly as the gases need room to escape. A good rule of thumb is to fill it about two-thirds full. This allows for expansion and efficient heat transfer. You are preparing the crucible for a desperate but necessary transformation. 
Every detail matters. Seal the barrel. Place the lid tightly on the barrel. You need an airtight seal. Insert one end of your copper or metal tube into a small hole in the lid. The other end of the tube will run through a container of water and into a second, clean container. This second container will collect your liquid fuel. Ensure the tube is submerged in the water for cooling. The airtight seal is absolutely critical. Any leaks will allow oxygen in, leading to combustion rather than pyrolysis. You want to cook the plastic, not burn it. Use a sealant like high temperature caulk or mud around the tube insertion point and the lid edges. A secure setup prevents accidents and maximizes your fuel output. Double check all connections before applying heat. The cooling chamber is vital. The gas released from the heated plastic must cool rapidly. This rapid cooling allows it to condense into a liquid. Without the water bath, your gas will just escape into the air. It will not become the precious fuel you need. Pay close attention to this setup. Ensure your cooling container is stable and large enough to hold the water. The tube must extend well below the water surface to maximize cooling efficiency. This is where the magic happens, turning invisible gas into usable liquid. A steady flow of cold water, if possible, will further improve condensation. The colder the water, the more efficient the process. Heat the barrel. Build a fire under the barrel. A sustained, intense heat is what you are aiming for. As the plastic inside melts, it will begin to release gas. This gas travels through the tube, cools in the water, and condenses. You will see a liquid drip into your clean container. This is your raw, homemade fuel. Maintain consistent heat. Start your fire carefully. A slow, steady heat is better than a sudden, intense blaze. Too much heat too quickly can lead to uncontrollable pressure buildup. Monitor the flame and the barrel constantly. You are looking for a gentle stream of gas through the tube. Adjust your fire as needed to keep the process consistent and safe. Small adjustments yield the best results. And more importantly, patience is key here. Do not rush the process. Let the plastic break down slowly. Monitor the drips. The more gas that condenses, the more fuel you will have. This is a slow burn, literally. But the payoff is immense. You are creating energy from nothing. Observe the rate of dripping. It indicates the efficiency of your pyrolysis. Filter your fuel. Once you have collected a decent amount of liquid, it is time to purify it. Pour your homemade fuel through a cloth or even sand. This will remove any impurities. Cleaner fuel burns better. It also causes less damage to your engine. Take this step seriously for optimal performance. Filtering is crucial for the longevity of your engines. Raw pyrolysis oil often contains small plastic particles and other contaminants. These can clog fuel lines, damage injectors, and reduce engine efficiency. A simple cloth filter can remove larger debris. For finer filtration, multiple layers of cloth or a bed of fine sand will work wonders. You are striving for clarity. Filtration improves quality. Think of it like refining crude oil. The less gunk in your fuel, the more efficiently it will ignite. Use several layers of cloth if needed. Sand provides a finer filtration. The clearer the liquid, the better your chances. This step distinguishes crude desperation from true resourcefulness. Test your creation. Take a small drop of your filtered liquid. Ignite it carefully. If it burns, congratulations. You have successfully made your own gasoline. This is a monumental achievement in a Yaisia's desolate world. It means mobility. It means power. It means survival. This is the moment of truth. Your hard work culminates in this small flame. If it explodes, congratulations twice. You just made rocket fuel. You are now the proud owner of a highly volatile, extremely powerful liquid. Handle it with extreme caution. This kind of power can be dangerous, but also incredibly useful. You are now a true alchemist of the apocalypse. Understand the difference and plan your next move accordingly. Your homemade gasoline, literally made from junk and scraps, is ready. Perfect for the apocalypse. This fuel can power your generator, fire up your vehicle, or even act as a deterrent. You have unlocked a secret of the old world. You have found strength in discarded things, 
You have mastered a new skill. Use it wisely and use it responsibly. This is not just about a temporary fix. This is about self-sufficiency. This is about resilience. This is about refusing to give up when all odds are stacked against you. You have taken control of one of the most vital resources. You have transformed despair into hope. You have fueled your future. This is the ultimate survival hack. So if you found this guide useful, if the thought of turning trash into power excites you, then make sure you are part of our survival network. Subscribe to Bunker with a View for more groundbreaking insights and practical skills. We are constantly exploring new ways to thrive, not just survive in the world that remains. Your journey starts here, powered by your own hands. Stay resourceful, stay safe.